हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी प्रैक्टिकल डिजाइन एंड रिजर्व कैपेसिटी ऑफ रोटरी इंटरसेक्शन विथ वन एग्जांपल आई एम डॉक्टर जयेश जुरेमलानी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सामारा यूनिवर्सिटी इथोपिया नाउ सी इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल ऑनली डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द कैपेसिटी whether it is practical design or reserve with example only if you want to know about theory part you can refer indian road congress 65 for all the theory part means what should be the entry weight what should be the exit width what should be the uh, radius of center island okay and other design criteria guidelines you can refer to indian road congress 60 Five. Here in this video, we will only try to understand how to find out the capacity with example only. So everybody knows that rotor intersection is a intersection where a center axle is provided, and all the vehicles can maneuver the rotary by slow down the speed and rotating clockwise. See this picture clearly shows how. vehicles coming from different directions are maneuvering the rotary okay and go to their desired direction for example this is green uh, vehicles coming from east left hand turning traffic straight traffic and right hand turning traffic similarly the red uh, arrow shows vehicle coming from the south left straight and right similarly all vehicles now here what is happening is this is interesting area we will need to find out the capacity of this approach okay if we call this as a north south and east west so we are interested in finding out the capacity of east south approach south west approach west north approach and north east approach whatever is the least capacity will be the capacity of the rotary now here what is happening here vehicles are merging from different coming from different direction are merging here see this blue blue arrow vehicles coming from the north are merging with the vehicle coming from the east so here merging take place all and they go together for some distance and again they diverge out so north vehicle coming from north going towards south again they will diverge out vehicle coming from east and going ahead here they will merge and here they will diverge out so merging and diverging combination of merging and diverging is known as a weaving action okay so weaving take place and this is known as a weaving width this is known as a weaving width and this is known as a weaving length denoted by small l so let us understand the same thing with the example of rear picture here you see this is central island okay vehicles are moving in clockwise direction all the vehicles coming from all the directions this is actually t junction okay so vehicle are they have to slow down the speed maneuver the rotary in clockwise direction and go to the desired direction now if we see this is left hand turning traffic this traffic will not take part into merging and diverging okay so, so suppose this is uh, for example this is east direction and this is south direction so traffic coming from east and going towards south left hand turning traffic will not take part into merging and diverging but traffic coming from east and going towards west okay or going ahead will merge with the vehicles coming from here and going towards the south so here merging and diverging take place some of the vehicles are coming ahead and going ahead will again not take part in merging and diverging so this is nothing but uh, we can call is a type of moment this is b type of moment this is c type of moment and this is d type of moment a and d type of moment will not take part in merging and diverging while b and c type of moment will take part into merging and diverging four types of moments are there we will understand clearly when we solve that now see this is the same intersection but the picture is taken during peak hours so peak hours 
same intersection will function as a signalized intersection. Most of the city you will find all the intersections of peak cover during they work as a rotary intersection and peak covers they are converted into signal intersection. They follow the vehicles follow the signals. So the best part of the rotary is self-governing, no need of traffic police or no signals. And another best part is vehicle did not to stop. Waiting time is avoided and it is self-regulatory. But when rotary cannot handle the traffic beyond its capacity, it must be converted into signal intersection. This shows the, all the dimension of a rotary intersection. So here, if you see E1, entry width, this E1 is the entry width, okay, E2 is considered as the exit width, E2 and E1 and average E is equal to entry average of entry width plus exit width divided by 2 that is E average width and this is the area weaving width denoted by small w and this area is known as weaving length denoted by small l so this is weaving width and this is weaving length where merging and diverging takes place okay this is the intersection angle now see this is the formula for finding out the practical capacity the formula is the developed and trrl uk it says practical capacity can be found using this formula 280 into w w is nothing but the weaving width into bracket 1 plus e by w is the average of x trade exit width w we know weaving width into bracket 1 minus p by 3 p is the proportion of weaving traffic we will talk about it uh, later on divided by 1 plus w by l that is weaving width w divided by weaving length l okay now let us understand what is p if you see the formula carefully after establishing the rotary no uh, e w and l cannot be changed so only variable here is p more is the proportion of weaving traffic less is the capacity of the rotary okay now let us understand what is weaving traffic p proportion of weaving traffic it is weaving traffic b plus c type of movement you add by abcd now what is abcd there are four types of movement a traffic suppose this is e and this is east and this is south the traffic uh, we already discussed traffic coming from east and going towards south left and turning traffic will not take part into merging and diverging so obviously it is a part of the A moment. Okay. Now traffic coming from east but not going towards south but going ahead. Okay. Whether it is straight or right hand turning traffic, but coming from east going towards south will take part in merging and diverging in this area. This is the weaving area. Okay. So they will be the part of the weaving moment, weaving traffic. Similarly, traffic coming from ahead traffic coming from ahead and going towards south traffic coming from ahead and going towards south again they will merge and diverge with the b type of moment over here and will take part in weaving action so these vehicles are the part of the c type of moment so b plus c total viewing traffic divided by total traffic passing through this area is south approach okay so some vehicles are coming from ahead and going ahead again they will not take part into merging and diverging so this is the d type of moment so a plus b plus c plus d total traffic and b plus c proper waving traffic waving traffic divided total traffic will give us the p the example entry and exit width of the road is 10 meter traffic approaching the intersection are shown below find out the practical capacity this is the traffic north south east west 1140 vehicle are coming from south 1260 vehicle are coming from east 1433 vehicles are coming from north and 1405 vehicles are coming from west let us first find out the w weaving width uh, irc 65 says it is the average of entry and exit width so e1 plus e2 divided by 2 e1 e2 is 10 so 10 plus 10 divided by 2 so again 10 plus 3.5 okay 
so that is 13.5 and viewing length is equal to 4 times 13.5 is nothing but the 54 meter so we have entry width exit width 10 10 meter viewing width 13.5 meter and viewing length 14 meter now let us see a b c d type of moments for each, each approach okay whatever will be the value of for four approach to five east south south west west north northeast okay so we we are here finding out capacity of the east south approach so let us first see the a type of moment traffic coming from east going towards south left and turning traffic here i have shown with the red circle 250 250 will be the a type of moment which will not park in merging and diverging okay Similarly, let us see for a moment for southwest approach. So, traffic coming from south going toward west 420 will be the a type of moment for southwest approach. Am I clear? Let us see. Let us consider the case for west north approach. So, traffic coming from west going towards south, north and left and turning traffic 400 will be the part of the a moment. And lastly, northeast approach. Traffic coming from north go, going towards east, left and turning traffic from north will be the part of the A moment, this vehicle, 408 vehicles. Very simple. Now B moment, let us find out the B moment for east-south approach. So I already may have told you that come vehicle coming from east but not going towards south, going ahead are part of the B moment will take part merging and diverging. So this is the, their movement direction, coming from east okay coming from east but not going towards south going ahead whether west or north so this fast straight forward uh, straight uh, traffic 500 will vehicle go to the west and 600 vehicle go to the north so 500 plus 1100 will be the part of the b moment for east south approach similarly so we can see a and b moment are from the previous approach only for southwest approach, pre previous approach is south, west north is previous approach is west. So from southwest, previous approach is south, 420 we know the A type of moment. So 350 and 370 will be the B type of moment. Similarly for west north, traffic coming from west going toward north will be the A moment. But traffic coming from west north going toward north will be the part of the B moment for west north approach. Similarly northeast approach. We know this is the A moment but traffic coming from north not going toward east will be the part of the B approach. Okay, So we can formalize that left and turning traffic from previous approach is A moment and straight and right and turning traffic from previous approach is B moment as simple as that. Now let us say about the C moment okay so question here we should ask that how many vehicles are going towards south for each south approach if we are finding the c moment how many vehicles are going towards south so i have marked the red star okay 615 vehicles coming from north going towards south and 510 vehicle coming from west going towards south this will be the part of the c moment okay c moment they will merge over here and diverge over here with the B types of vehicle okay similarly let us find out the C type of moment for southwest approach so question should be asked how many vehicles are going towards the west so obviously vehicle coming from north uh, east going towards right and straight traffic from east going towards west and right and turning traffic from north these 375 vehicles are also going towards the west. So this is the C moment for southwest approach. Similarly for west north approach, what question we should ask? How many vehicles are going towards the north? So straight vehicle from the south and right and turning traffic from the east. Okay. So if you want to make the formula, you can make it. So for A, we can say left and turning traffic from the previous approach. A type of moment straight and right turning traffic from the previous approach is the B type of moment straight traffic from opposite approach and right turning traffic from succeeding approach will be the C moment 
so for northeast 505 and 5110 will be the C moment vehicles going towards the east. Finally come to the D moment. D moment will be the vehicles who are coming ahead and going towards the neither are coming from east nor going towards the south. So right hand turning traffic from the opposite approach. Right hand turning traffic from the opposite approach will be the D moment for any approach. So let us see from south west. East south we know north is the opposite approach right hand turning traffic is 75. 7375 will be the D moment for east south approach. So we have the A, B, C, D all moments for east south approach. Let us say from southwest approach. Okay. So what will be the D moment? Opposite is E approach. 650. 650 will be the D moment for southwest approach. Similarly, west north approach. Okay. 375. 375 vehicle will be the right hand turning traffic from the opposite approach will be the D moment for the north west north approach similarly west east approach opposite approach is west so north east approach what is the D moment 510 these vehicles are coming ahead and going ahead not take part into the merging diverging this total vehicle a plus b plus c plus d 2885 so design capacity minus actual flow divided by design capacity 0.14 percent so here 14 percent is the reserve capacity if you get the positive answer means rotary is under saturated 14 percent traffic more can be accommodated if you get the negative answer so it means rotary is over saturated it is handling the traffic beyond its capacity so with this example the application is we can able to know whether rotary is handling traffic beyond its capacity over saturated or under saturated see this is the answer for all this four approach east south southwest northwest northeast practical capacity okay here is a 3890 is the lowest practical capacity for southwest is 41393 for northeast 4003 for northeast 4084 Similarly, design capacity is nothing but the 85 percentage of the practical capacity. Okay, and reserve capacity means design capacity minus actual flow divided by design capacity. So, lowest four is south approach. Thank you very much. I hope you understood how to find out the practical design and reserve capacity for a rotary.